So for today, we're going to be looking at my guardians specifically. We're going to be looking at the Xur's Exotic Dare challenge that I gave myself a few weeks back. If this is your first video, it's basically a challenge I gave myself where essentially each week when Xur comes in, I just have to make an armor set revolving around whatever exotic Xur is selling that week. For the Hunters, it's Knucklehead Radar. For the Titans, it's Ashen Wake. And for the Warlocks, it's Apothesis, Apothesis Veil. So that's pretty much the challenge essentially i call it a challenge but it's not really a challenge it's something much more of a like training exercise or like uh like stretching my limbs type of thing where i don't go too crazy at it because at the end of the day i don't want to like stress myself with like have i used this hundred piece already no okay i can't use this anymore essentially so it's not more of a, it's not a challenge it's more just kind of like me fucking around with like the exotics as it brings so if you guys do like this content let me know in the comments below uh if you guys want to follow me on my social media i'll like in the description below i appreciate all the help you guys give me and let's just get started so first and foremost we're gonna be looking at my hunter and obviously like i said knucklehead radar is the exotic that we have been given this week and i am not gonna lie to you guys this one was rough uh my my hunter had the roughest time and it shows in my opinion so knucklehead radar obviously this is the exotic that they're selling this week and it's not my favorite look i mean i love it in destiny 1 i still love it in destiny 2 it's just like i just don't ever use it and aesthetically i think it's still like eh. it definitely needs an ornament even though it already does but it needs like an actual ornament because i think this is just like a like a skin ch change so i decided to use something with red just because I, I was thinking about using like Abyssian gold, but it looked a little too boring, a little too generic. And I think this like just makes everything pop a little bit better. So for sure, Crucible Solemnity is definitely pulling its weight right now. For the arms, we are using the Lux sleeves, uh, partly because for the whole look, I was trying to go for like a tactical slash typical hunter look because the the exotic is a typical hunter look this is like exactly what a hunter looks like so i wanted to lean into like the tactical and and hunter feel so obviously i had to go with the hunter insignia on both arms with the armor i love these arms these arms are super dope so these are definitely one of my favorite arms for the hunter for the chest piece we are using the very virulent vest uh it's not like my favorite but it's definitely one that I appreciate a lot and I always go back to and I, I make that distinction because it the whole like the armor set itself looks dope the whole armor set pisses me off because if you guys don't know it's it suffers from that same problem where just green and green like why can't I change because I promise you if it didn't have the green here and the green here, this probably would be my favorite armor set. Uh, specifically, the legs. The legs are super dope, but unfortunately, again, the green does not change color, unfortunately. Uh, either way, this is still like a cool chess piece, and I still like it. If I'm being quite honest, it is one of my favorites. I'm just trying to be a fucking idiot. But it is super dope, and I love, love that the cloak goes with it perfectly uh we'll go to the cloak in a bit boots are the weakest part in my opinion uh i was trying to go for something like tactical but also like very hunterish uh if i'm being quite honest like maybe something like this one probably would have been a better choice and this is probably the roughest part because like this one could have been used as well because it has pouches but i hate these pants with a passion so like you'll never see me wear these and that's uh the one from future war call i was thinking about this not that one specifically this one right here but i have worn this before um and it's one of like my pieces that i go to a lot so i didn't want to wear them again if i'm being quite honest i think i would have much preferred something like this where it has like armor like plate armor but i don't no actually this one no i mean i i appreciate it but no <sighs> something something with like armor plates on both sides i think would have been a better choice um that's too much going on there compared to like everything else cause everything else is kind of like a little bit more simplified compared to that like, I, like, this actually looks pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Actually, let me see. Where is the, uh, the plain one? Here it is. Ooh, 
that looks pretty fire. I'm t I'm tempted to restart this video and just be like, this is the original one. But nah, like this this looks super dope actually. Uh, if this was a look that I had going for myself, this would be the pants that I would actually go with the road complex. Just because again, I think it's such a perfect combination of red and white because, uh, oh my God, this looks so cool. Uh, last but not least, we have the cloak, which is the crucible cloak. This one is the one that's the same with the Gambit and the Vanguard one. If you guys remember, the Gambit one's right here. I like this one. It's definitely cool. It's just unfortunate that it has the snakes up here or the pieces of the snake. And the Vanguard one is actual doo-doo butter because uh, it doesn't change color and it has this really gross caca green. So unfortunate and I'll never use it, but this is literally my favorite one because it has such a good blending of colors because it it blends with literally almost everything so if you want to make your chest piece a little bit bigger i would highly recommend the crucible cloak just because it does get you that like it looks like the chest piece goes all the way to the neck so that's why i really love it not only that the hose is pretty cool as well so that's my hunter man dude th these boots look really cool i'm just gonna keep these so this is my hunter uh let me know in the comments what you guys think hunters let me know like what you what is it good i think it's okay uh i probably could have picked a better shader maybe but at the end of the day this does look really cool and this is definitely like this these two combinations is definitely something i like do go to uh, from time to time but yeah next up is my titan so titans we have the ashen wake and i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh this is this this week kind of felt cheap because ashen wake is literally my favorite exotic for the titan which is weird, really weird because like you never really hear people say ashen wake's my favorite uh the reason why it's my favorite is just the grenade like it makes the grenade so much more fun uh, and I use it in literally everything, PvP, PvE, uh, Gambit, I, everywhere. I, Ashen Wake is legitimately one of my favorite exotics. So when I saw that Ashen Wake was being sold, I kind of got a little sad because uh, I have pretty much combined pretty much almost every look with Ashen Wake. Uh, almost everything, not not all of it, because obviously I'm not perfect. But Ashen Wake, oh my god, guys, let me tell you. Ashen Wake combines so well with rounded armor. So something like this is gonna look really cool because it has like a round shape. You definitely wanna stay away from angular armor. So something like this right here, where is it? Something like this, definitely stay away from it because it does not look good in my opinion. Uh, not saying I don't ever use it with this chest piece. I do occasionally, but I usually like stay with armor pieces that are a little bit more like like circle-ish, uh, spherical, there we go. So something like this, even like, even for me, I wouldn't use this just because like it is spherical, but it's too small in my opinion. It needs to, it needs to have like, it needs to be bulky and spherical. Like this one looks super dope with it to the point where I actually want to combine it, but I would be combining Sovereign Helm with the Sovereign Play and uh, I don't like combining more than one piece of armor but that's just my rule that i made for myself so for the helmet we have the sovereign hood one of my favorite hoods from vanilla destiny 2. unfortunately we still don't have any of the shaders or the ornaments from the fucking factions because these are super dope and the fucking shaders are super dope but at least i got this uh when i could so i mean i guess whatever i'll take what i can get and this is definitely one of my favorite uh helmets the fur up here is super dope and the night leaf like face plate looks really cool as well uh ashnoig is definitely again like i said one of my favorite exotics it's uh pretty cool not gonna lie it's a lot of fun to use and it's very very nasty in certain builds uh for the chest piece we actually have the virtuous plate from season of dawn definitely one of my favorite armor sets from that season actually if my favorite if if anything the titans like won that hand down just because they look so cool so actually hold on hold on hold on i just gotta use that an idea i actually think this looks pretty cool okay just wanted to just wanted to see that real quick 
So yeah, chess piece is from Season of Dawn. Definitely one of my favorites. The only unfortunate part, and I actually would think about switching the chess piece with the helmet, just because I don't like the, the chess piece glow. The helmet's fine. I think the chess piece is just a little odd in my opinion. For the legs, we have the Forged Mechanist Greaves, one of my favorite boots in the game for Titans. Definitely one of the coolest ones in my opinion. Definitely way better than the, the uh, Raid one. I think the Raid one's super gross. Like, it's just the same one, but with extra steps. So, I'm still probably gonna get it because at the end of the day, it still does look cool. But compared to, the, uh, to this one, I just think this one looks way better, like hands down. Last but not least, we have the Bulletsmith's Iron Mark. This is definitely one of my favorite marks for the Titans as well. If you're de definitely, if you're going for like a knight look, I guess you would say, just because of the whole situation with the sides, the skirt, and the back skirt as well. I love it. This is definitely what a Titan mark should be. And it's definitely one of my favorites. Again, I'm using a lot of pieces where it's just like, this is either, this is either my favorite or it's like, so one of my favorites like I, there's no either or aside from like maybe this this helmet because it's not my favorite but it's definitely super dope so titans let me know what you guys think definitely one of my favorite uh sets for my titan again i've used a lot of looks for for the ashen week so if you guys are interested in that i can make a video for ashen week alone uh so yeah comments below la 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 let's get to the warlock and last but not least, we have the Warlock with the Apothesis Veil. Thank God I got that right. I was dreading it was wrong. And this one was pretty rough. It wasn't as bad as the, the Hunter because the Hunter was just like all around like I hated every second of it. But it was rough in the sense that I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know the pieces. So I wanted to do something regal, something like almost like fancy because that's what the Apothesis Veil gives me. Like very like royal type thing royalty type feel so the first one i thought of was not this one i thought of, i was thinking about so many others i was thinking about the myriading constellation i was thinking about the nemean gloves which in hindsight i probably i'm happy i didn't choose this one actually never mind uh that that one i chose i was thinking about this one i was thinking about a lot of them to be quite honest even for, even for a second this one but i was like why the fuck would i use that one so at the end, in the end, I decided to take this one out of my collections because I actually love the finger. Oh, excuse me. I love the fingers, uh, finger glove things. I don't know what they're called, but they're cool. And it ve looks very sleek. That's the other reason why I chose it. The chest piece, I ended up deciding to go with, uh, I don't remember what this chest piece is called. Hold on. This chest piece is called the Philomath Robes. So that one's pretty cool. The reason I chose this one is because I was going like like I said, I was trying to trying to go for a regal look, something that like looks like she's like like she smells her own fart farts essentially. And there's a few that I was going around. I actually thought of the Lightkin robes for a second, which I do think these this looks super dope, but I didn't like the messiness of here and then the like almost regalness of the boots. So I was like, I don't, I don't want it because it kind of like contradicts each other. Uh, did think about the Braytech researchers, but this is, I still have not found a good piece for this. And did think about Gunsmith D Devotion, but the shader was just everywhere and I hated it. So there's a lot of things that I was trying to go for. But I'm happy in the end that I chose this one because of the white or the green white, whatever. It's very prevalent in this armor and only a little bit of this like off white. So I'm ha very happy with how this came out. Although I will tell you right now, it's definitely not my favorite. This is definitely like a this can work for now type type of feel. The boots definitely love these boots. Fa one of my favorite boots, these Celestine boots from Solstice of Heroes 2021 this year. Definitely one of my favorite boots, and it goes really well with anything you're going with, uh, like Regal. So this one was easily a no-brainer. And for the mark, I just could not find anything that, or the bond, I could not find anything that I really liked up here. I've used this one too many times for me to like use it again. And everything else was just kind of either too much or too little. So I just decided to use something very simplest, simplistic. And I actually really like it. I like how it came out. So 
that's pretty much it let me know titans warlocks hunters let me know what you guys think about your sets i will tell you guys right now the titan is my favorite obviously because the armor set is like literally an armor set i always wear the hunter is probably a close second especially with the boot change just because those boots are so much better and then the warlock would probably be my least but to be fair apothesis veil is like one of my least favorite exotics um fashion wise and just in general i don't like it so that's why i was just not excited to work with it but i still did try my best with the warlocks even though i just cannot find the chess piece that like i was like i wanted to use that one specifically unfortunately so that's pretty much it uh next week hopefully we get some exotics that i actually like to work with because this week was one one that i like one of my favorite exotics and two were just like i never use these but okay let's fucking go so let me know what your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links in the description below i thank you all for coming and i'll see you guys later